Hello, this is Scott Hanson with the Dell Enterprise Technology Center. Today we will demonstrate the Dell PowerEdge 11G lifecycle controller performing hardware platform updates. We are now looking at the iDRAC KVM on the T610. Simply press F10 to enter the system services menu and access the lifecycle controller. The Unified Server Configurator interface is now starting. This is the GUI access into the lifecycle controller. Simply choose Platform Update and then Launch Platform Update. For the repository location, we can select the ftp.dell.com server and also supports different proxies or we can select a locally attached USB device. The USB device contains the catalog.xml file which will read the updates. On this screen you can see the current and available updates. So we see our current system levels and the available updates which are on the repository. We can select one or several of these updates. As you see our system is already at the latest levels so we'll simply look at these and then uncheck them and go back. Now for the FTP server, we can input our proxy. We have a proxy in the lab. 68.50.125.1. And for the port we use 8080. Now since we're in a lab environment, our DNS, we have to use the IP address for ftp.dell.com, so it's 143.166.11.10, and select Next. And now it will access the FTP server. It will look for the catalog directory and the catalog files to read the repository. And again, we see the same updates that we had on the USB stick. Uh, which I had replicated from the ftp.dell.com site. So we'll exit. The other option on platform updates is actually a rollback option. Select that. And you see we can choose components and roll them back to previous versions. So as you can see with the lifecycle controller, it's very easy to apply the platform updates. If you have further questions or would like to see further demos, please visit us at DellTechCenter.com. Thank you.